Well, good morning, family and friends. It is about, let's see, let me look at my phone. About seven in the morning, a little windy in Japan, and uh, it's pretty early. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping, and we're gonna uh, talk about how Japan dealt with the pandemic. But first, let's see how shopping is, and I'll show you how the second wave of the pandemic is doing in Japan. So, let's go. Well, family members, I'm here at the supermarket, super early, not that crowded, and you don't see long lines, so we're gonna go inside. I'm not sure if I can film, but let's sneak it in. about this whole perspective is that if Japan has suffered from the pandemic, which it's not, there's a bunch of toilet paper, as you can clearly see all here. So I really don't have to worry about the pandemic as here as much, but you still gotta be cautious, wear a mask and clean your hands. So yeah, <laughs> that's something you gotta do here a lot. So um, yeah, just gonna be cocky and buy toilet paper. So yeah. Not so bad, is it? And best of all, no long line at the register. To do. Well, family and friends, I'm home. Uh, so I did buy my, you know, my much needed, uh, get out here. My much needed toilet paper, of course. So for those people back home who are panic buying or about to panic buying because the se second wave of the virus. Um, yeah, it, it really sucks. And I'm pretty grateful to be here in Japan right now. So anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys about how the virus situation was handled in Japan. And, you know, I get tired of seeing on Facebook, you know, I have friends and family like, yeah, you know, I thought a mask would work, you know, but, you know, it didn't work before. It's not 100%. And, you know, you know you're taking away our freedom. You know, I I'm getting tired of seeing that. Like, that, that shit's annoying. So I'm going to try to make a video and try to explain it clearly as possible about mask about how this pandemic got worse, about how Japan succeeded in handling the pandemic here. But um, yeah, we're gonna go over that in a bit. So uh, yeah, be sure to listen if you wanna listen. If you don't wanna listen, I understand, I get it. You're a Trump supporter, you know, you can't believe another, you can't listen to other people's beliefs or, you know, um, how can I say, you're not, you know, open to other people's uh, way of interpreting interpreting things I guess you could say so um yeah hello family friends and welcome back so uh yeah like I was about to say before I cut off the video unexpectedly is that um I'm gonna talk about how Japan handled the virus situation I mean of course it's not number one like my favorite country Taiwan but you know Japan did pretty well compared to the United States, or much, much better. I mean, millions of people are infected in America. So, this is what I'm going to argue. I'm going to try to argue some points. We're going to do mass first. We're going to talk a little bit about China. And number three, we're going to talk about uh, why you shouldn't politicize the virus and to send it off, I guess. Anyway, so let, let me start off with the first part, mask. Do masks actually work? 
And I know I see my friends and family. Some people are like, oh, I'm anti mask, you know? Because it doesn't work. Because Dr. Fauci said, don't wear a mask, you know? And then he said, you gotta wear a mask. So let me explain to you about Japan real quick. I'm just gonna give you a quick overview, quick summary. In Japan, everyone wears a mask. Rather, you have hay fever, a cold, you know, you've got to put on your makeup, your breath smells. It could be a variety of different things. Now, in Japan, everyone put on a mask no matter what. And the reason why people would just put on a mask, especially when you're sick, is because they don't want to inconvenience other people. So imagine you're sick and you don't want to get someone else sick. In Japan, in their culture, it's like, hey, you should care about others around you, who you're around besides yourself. So Japan's a very collectivist society. And before you guys say some stupid crap about communism, no, Japan is not communist. They're like capitalist, uh, kind of collectivist, maybe imperialist. I don't know. But besides the point, you know, in Japan, people are very collectivist. Uh, they really cared about one another here. And, you know, when the coronavirus was happening, we were low on masks in Japan as well. It wasn't just America that you had to worry about. So in Japan, they told us, hey, try to wear your mask for a day or two, then throw it out. But they said if you're able to buy, you know, re, you know, washable mask or reusable mask, uh, please do that. That's very important. So that's what happened around the end of February, I believe, or March. And then, you know, there's more, you know, reusable mask in Japan around that time. So, yeah, in Japan, they told us, hey, wash your hands, clean, be careful of coronavirus, put on a mask at all times. Uh, they started putting rules on restaurants that, hey, you know, restaurants are not going to be open 24 hours. Most restaurants are open 24 hours, even convenience stores. But they started closing down some of the places because of coronavirus. So places wouldn't be open 24 hours. Don't close them down. If you ate at a restaurant in Japan, you had to order takeout. So I remember for six weeks um, before they closed down my work, my work had to close down for a while because of coronavirus. They basically just said, yeah, we're going to close down for six weeks. Not lockdown, but they just told people all over Japan that, hey, don't go out. Don't go to restaurants. Well, you couldn't really eat in a restaurant anyway. You go and you order takeout. But you shouldn't go out unless it's to buy groceries or food. And that was it. That's what they told us to do in Japan. And Japan managed to do it. I mean, the only time I went out was to get groceries. Even the groceries wasn't that um bad. You know, people did panic buy in panic buy uh toilet paper at first, but then it calmed down and then there was more toilet paper again. Honestly, I didn't have to worry about toilet paper in Japan. You know, you have water that goes up your booty hole. But um anyway, you know, I didn't have to worry about that too much. Uh I had plenty of toilet paper. Didn't have to worry. But um yeah, Japan really took it serious and a mask worked less people got infected less people got sick you know everyone was clean i mean it was so clean in japan like they took the virus so serious that there's hand sanitizer in every store so they're instead of pressing the hand sanitizer to put in your hands they had an automatic one or they have one with a foot pedal and you squirt it into your hands which i thought was cool you just push this little foot pedal and you get sanitizer so that was pretty amazing and I was just like, wow, Japan really knows what to do. So, yeah, in Japan, it was so different here. They told us what we should do. Uh, try to avoid contact as much as possible. Try to social distance, put on a mask, clean your hands. Um, please try not to go out or be in large gatherings. So if Japan could do that for six weeks... I'm pretty sure America can, but, you know, Americans are pretty selfish. So next, we're going to talk about Dr. Fauci. Now, I know a lot of people were watching the news and you hear Dr. Fauci say, hey, you shouldn't buy masks. Um, you know, we're low on supplies. And yeah, Dr. Fauci really did screw up saying that because, first of all, think of China, for example. China's not a transparent government. I mean, they hide everything. I mean, if a million people died in China, we wouldn't know about it at all. Like, China's that messed up of a country. And the government even got worse when Xi Jinping took power. So, that that's the thing, you know. Um, China was transparent about the virus. Not many people knew about the virus. Donald Trump knew about it. So, I'm not going to try to be political and say, oh, Republicans are wrong and they're stupid. No, Donald Trump should have been the bigger man that said, hey, this virus is serious. 
we should really, you know, social distance, etc., do what we can. Just like Japan did. You know, even though Japan wasn't 100% at containing the virus, that's a story for another time. But, um, yeah, Donald Trump just said, oh, it's a flu, it's a fluke. It's not. It's really not. I've seen some people suffer worse here, and some of them are my friends or co-workers. So, to hear that from people, it's just like, no. Some people, a lot of people actually died from this virus. And the fact that Trump supporters didn't take it seriously... Holy crap, man. Like, you had no right to say all lives matter anymore or that you're pro-life. Because if you really were, you probably would have been like, well, I should probably listen to the doctor's advice. He knows what he's doing. But yes, Republicans are right about that, that Dr. Fauci did mess up in the beginning. But we're going to talk about the mask part, about why we were low on masks in the first place. And it has to do a lot with China and Chinese people who live abroad so let me explain this to you so before I go on to you know Chinese people that live abroad I'm gonna name two types of Chinese people and I'm gonna try to do my best I can I'm doing it by two so it's easier to understand of course there's a variety in unique different minority groups in China China has 56 minorities but anyway I'm just gonna talk about two you had the first group of Chinese people which I really love and they're like my best friends in the world and these are people who live in China, who want to live outside of China, want to learn about diversity, other countries. These are people who try to change, you know, their outlook on life, not to be so close minded, basically not ignorant or stupid, I guess you could say. But these are Chinese people who want to open up, want to get a better life for themselves and their family. You know, a lot of them want to leave China because the oppressive government of Xi Jinping and what he does. But yeah, those are gonna, we're going to call those Chinese people the good Chinese people. And I adore them. I love them to the very end. Then you're, we're going to have this other group called the A-hole Chinese people. Now, the A-hole Chinese people are the cause of the shortage of masks. And let me explain to you why. In China, for example, a lot of the products are not good. It's not just America that was low on masks. Remember, worldwide, even Japan was low on masks. But what Chinese people do is that sometimes they go to other countries, which you've probably seen if you work at an outlet or you work on Black Friday, and you see all these Chinese people buy like 100 iPhones, or you see them, you know, just stock up on stuff, and they send it back to the country. It's because they make good investment back, taking all that stuff back to China, and they make a lot of money doing it. For example, you know, if I went to China and I knew full Chinese, I could just buy a lot of lots and lots of baby diapers, baby formula, send it back to China and I can make a profit. And the reason why is because a lot of products in China are not good, even baby formula. A lot of babies died drinking baby formula in China, which is a story for another time. Anyway, China knew the masks, masks were needed, so people who, the a-hole Chinese people, knew that they could make a profit selling, you guessed it, mask so what these a-holes did is a hey there's this virus going around it looks like it's pretty bad americans don't know crap about it let's go to costco buy giant boxes of mask send it back to china and sell it for some cash and that's what these a-holes did they'll buy so much mask that america japan canada basically every developed country was low on mask and then the Chinese government tried to sell that mask back, which was shitty. You know, sorry for my language. But yeah, it's really messed up that these a-holes and the Chinese government did that, which puts these good Chinese people who wouldn't do such a thing in a bad light. So these a-holes, they're kind of like merchants, we should say, where they go abroad, they sell products, you know, from they go abroad and they sell the products back home in China and they make a fortune. So these a-holes are the ones, are the reasons why we're law and mask in the first place. And I'm pretty sure Dr. Fauci probably already knew that, but he didn't know much about the virus because like I said, China would do anything to keep power. I mean, you can't even play the Winnie the Pooh song in China. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie, 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 Winnie. But anyway, that, that's the thing is that China is a very oppressive country. They oppress their people, it, it's crappy. You know, China's not 
you know, um, a happy place, you know, they use a lot of propaganda, propaganda, you know, and I don't even think China dealt with the virus that well. From the friends I talked to live in China, a lot of people died. And one of them actually lived in Wuhan. And she did everything she can to try to leave. And she couldn't. So, yeah, it's very bad. Anyway, the, the point I'm trying to say here to you guys is China and the a Chinese government and the a-hole Chinese who knew that the virus was getting bad bought all the masks from Japan to every devout country, sent it back, made a profit. Like, wow. That's the reason why we're low on masks. And Dr. Fauci kind of said, hey, you know, we don't know much about the virus yet. You shouldn't wear a mask. And that's where he really messed up, like I said. And at the same time, he didn't know about it. You know, you could blame the Chinese government for that. Don't blame China. Don't blame Chinese people. It has nothing to do with them. F you, CCP. I hope one day your rule falls and Chinese people could choose a better society for themselves. But yeah, that's the thing. These a-holes, Chinese government, crappy people. So hopefully, uh, you know, we get to the bottom of this coronavirus situation in that China doesn't try to play soft power or try to gaslight other countries that, oh, you're picking on China because, you know, years and years of colonization. But no, th this time they messed up. They should have been transparent. The CCP is horrible. It, it not only treats the world bad, but it treats its own people bad. And the reason why their own people can't say anything about it, because if they do, they go to prison, they get tortured. Look at Xinjiang, look at Tibet, look at what they're doing to Hong Kong. So, yeah, <laughs> CCP is just horrible. But I feel like China could be better. I hope one day in the future they can, and it's not under CCP control. Whatever, rather, whatever it decides to be in the future, hopefully... It does change, but until then, we got to accept China for what it is for now, which is sad. But anyway, family and friends, I just want to educate you. Mask, even though not 100%, it's not a cure. I mean, if you study biology or took some basic high school biology, you will know this, but I know most of you didn't pay attention. I mean, I took biology in college, but even though I hated studying for that, I had to pass the class. And of course, I have... A pretty good understanding of biology and how vaccines work how masks work I mean even in Japan they tell us how masks work they even did a video demonstration of how germs pass it, it was amazing how they did that here to educate people in Japan about what you should watch out for and why you should be aware of coronavirus I know in America people touch their face a lot they don't go like this they don't go like that you know you guys always touch your face when you try to touch your face try to go like this if you can try to never use your fingers <laughs> So be careful with that. But anyway, yes, mask, not 100%, but think of it like when you take a piss and you have pants on. If you take a piss with your pants on, you only wet yourself, right? Now imagine peeing and when you take a piss, you know, and you have no pants on, you can wet everybody else, right? So try to think of a mask like that. There's aerosols in the air that you can't see. They're so tiny that when you sneeze, the aerosol could, fear, could fill a whole entire giant movie theater like imagine sneezing in a movie theater you affected everyone with coronavirus if you didn't have a mask now if you had a mask someone who's sitting right next to you might get coronavirus and that's it that's the best way to explain mask of course if you're like you know less than five three feet in front of a person and they have a mask on you will get coronavirus but if you're like six maybe more feet away and they have a mask and you have a mask you won't get coronavirus you got to try to prevent it as much as possible. So every time you sneeze, you know, every time you probably spit, possibly the aerosols could give you coronavirus. So be careful of that. Anyway, family and friends, I'm glad I was able to share that with you. Maybe in the next video, I'll talk about a-hole Chinese people and good Chinese people. And why some Chinese people go to other countries and sell their stuff. Uh, they're... There is a lot of talking points to talk about that with the a-hole and the good Chinese people. But um, yeah, you know, don't judge people. You know, don't judge all Chinese people. Don't say all of them are bad or they're communist demons. I mean, don't, don't do that. You still have the good ones who, you know, want to change themselves and do good for the country, but they can't. Then you have the a-holes who just want to make a quick buck, make money, and that's it. 
Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.